Hey, Derek, it's Dennis. Just wanted to give you a spectrum of what we've covered over the uh, last uh, three lessons. Uh, I think you've done an amazing job on really improving the dynamics of your golf swing. Uh, the swing here on the left, if you remember, is the very first swing that we took, um, and we wanted to improve some of those dynamics that are going to allow you to hit the ball a little bit further uh, and also control the flight of the golf ball better. Um, so the things that we kind of talked about in your golf swing that we needed to focus on was trying to prove the dynamics of how you were using the ground uh, in your swing. Uh, we were also talking about trying to focus on some of the extension pieces um, that we needed to in your golf swing. And then the other thing that we were looking at was trying to keep the head a bit more stationary so that it's not moving uh, all over the place in your golf swing, which is going to make uh, not only contacting the ground much more difficult, but also uh, controlling the predictable curve um, because of um, how fast the rate of closure is happening by that head moving uh, all over the place and also moving back that far from where it started uh, from impact. So one of the things that we uh, first set out to do uh, was giving you drills to work on that, that footwork. And here on the right-hand side is uh, the end of our second lesson. And the thing that we want to kind of focus on uh, is going to be how you're using uh, the ground forces uh, throughout your swing. And again, we'll go ahead and just kind of mark the head. It wasn't something that we were really focusing on because that wasn't the piece uh, that we were looking at. And you can see that the, um, the ground work with the feet is a lot better. And then the other thing that we can start to see um, is the extension pieces are also a lot better. Still not great with the foot, but it is uh, a lot better than um, what we originally started with. And then from there, um, this was the beginning of our lesson from, um, from a Saturday. And again, we're going to look at the ground forces and how you're using your feet. Again, much better extension pieces throughout your golf swing. And one of the things that we focused on was really cleaning up that movement pattern and really working on trying to create a little bit more of a stable stationary head. And this is one of the things that we went and did. We got you into the Megza. You can see the head stabilizer. And I also put out the inside approach, the insider, um, so that we can control and, and, and improve some of the hand path. And one of the things that we'll start to see is, is the feelings that you created of of what it felt like to keep your head more stationary throughout your golf swing. And we just changed the path of the hands ever so slightly. So that was a second feature that you were unaware of at the time as we were really focused on working on keeping that head a little bit more stable through the hitting zone. What it did end up doing is it really cleaned up uh, the groundwork with your feet, really nice extension piece, and better utilization of your body, not so rotary. And then, you know, the end result of the day is uh, this swing right here. After we worked on the Megza and we did some transfer training, uh, the thing that you'll see is the head is a lot more stationary and stable at the top of the golf swing. We can go over here and we can look at top of the golf swing with your very first swing in, in our evaluation. A lot more head movement uh, there as you're coming into the golf ball. Again, not really using the ground to your, your fullest advantage. And now we start to look at uh, the right hand swing. A lot better um, alignments in movement patterns there. The head is much more stable throughout the golf swing. As you're starting to move through, you can see the extension pieces and that trail foot really working well. You can see the head flashes to the left, down, and then back up in the original swing. Again, not good footwork or ground forces being used, no extension pieces, that head moving back versus what we see right here. So I want you to continue to working on those drills that I provided. And if you have any questions, uh, let me know. Uh, again, great work, and I'll see you in a couple of weeks.